Some of you might be familiar with Yanmi Park. Now, she is a DPRK defector who has been the real media darling and has made hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, off of just continually slandering the DPRK for the purposes of forwarding U.S. imperialism, demonize it, and then anything America does to it is therefore justified, regardless of how, how inhumane it is. Or horribly dishonest. Usually both. But here's a new thing. Yanmi Park has decided she's going to sue anyone who calls her out on her lies. But in my book, I did say everything that was true. And after my book that came out in 2015 and September, not even one single people accused the book because I'm going to sue them now if they do it. Now, not just myself, but many people have noted of the inconsistencies in her stories and her claims, things that make absolutely no sense whatsoever, like the fact that she claims to have escaped the DPRK by climbing a mountain that didn't exist, or that mountain was on the other side of the country. She's been called out repeatedly for complete falsehoods. Now, that's things that you can very easily materially prove. She's also said things like, there's no word for happiness in the DPRK. I mean, that's that's cartoonish. Like, if somebody told you that there was no word for happiness in a particular language, particularly something as a, as a civilization, such as like, like a modern civilization, you'd call that person a liar. Because you can watch DPRK news and see them use the word happiness. She's demonstrably a liar, a monstrous, horrible liar. And now if you call her out on any of that, she's going to sue you now. Well, nothing says I'm telling the truth like threatening to sue anyone who disagrees with you. So Yan Mi Park, I am calling you a liar. And not only that, I can very easily prove that you are a liar. You've stated that there's no ice cream in the DPRK. But there's f videos and pictures of kids eating ice cream in the DPRK that can be easily found. So I am going to call you a liar. And everybody else who sees the exact same thing that I do, that sees that you're lying, cartoonishly bullshitting people, are also going to call you a liar. I dare you sue me. Because I'll go right into court and prove every prove what you're saying is a lie. Because I can easily I can easily do it. Because people have already done it. And this is the straight up fascism, fucking fascism of this whole anti DPRK nonsense. Normally, you sue people for libel, slander making accusations that have no basis whatsoever that cause that cause injury to a party but when you say something like there is no ice cream and you say here here's a picture of the ice cream that's not a suable offense that's not defamation that's not slander that's not anything like that that's just calling you out for being a liar that's not illegal that's not a civil it's not a civil offense either you're full of it but she wants to threaten anybody who would say anything against her calling her out to be a liar because she knows she's been called a liar before. She knows that her story has been refuted by her own inconsistencies in her own story. But then again, that would be threatening the millions of dollars she's getting. Now, it is millions because we know at one point $800,000 for good defective, defector stories. And knowing that she has done endless speaking engagements where she's been paid astronomical amounts of money to spew lies. So we know it's in the millions. And how much of that money has gone on cosmetic surgery for herself. You can see the difference between her face between now and like seven years ago. Her face is looking kind of plastic now. She's spending astro astronomical amounts of money on cosmetic surgery. I mean, hey, if you have some kind of narcissistic need to do that, well, you know, whatever, free, can't question the free market. But the money is there, and the money is being spent, and we can see it. 
That's the point. So, Yan Mi Park, I dare you sue me. You are a liar. I can demonstrably prove that you are a liar. You can only sue for libel or slander if I make an accusation that I cannot prove. I can prove that you are a liar. I can prove that you have lied repeatedly throughout your career as a spokesperson for U.S. imperialism, hostile U.S. foreign policy, which produces sanctions that kill DPRK citizens, the people you claim to care about. So I dare you. I dare you sue me. I dare you sue every single person that has ever called you a liar, because you will lose every single one of those cases because you are fraud. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.